So from there, we're moving on to the next review of the evening. It's movie time review, people. So I just recently sat down and spent some time with the wife watching this particular picture. And I didn't know what I was going to think. This movie here, the menu you see right on your screen there, just recently released. And the trailer looked very, very intriguing from this one. And yet, what you see in the trailer isn't even quite the full story of what you get in this particular film either. Uh, so this one right here is directed by Mark uh, Malad, I believe is the pronunciation. I hope I pronounced that correct. But Mike, uh, Mark Malad is actually, uh, if, from what I read, is more of a TV actor. This seems to be one of his more uh, bigger cracks at taking on a film. And Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, um, I, I was very, very impressed. We're going to get to that in a minute here. But uh, if you're wondering who stars in this film, as you saw on the poster there, you got uh, Ralph, uh, uh, sorry, Ralph Fiennes, I believe is the way it's pronounced. Again, I'm probably terrible with pronunciation, but I hope I'm getting that right. Uh, you might know him. Uh, he was M or Gareth Mallory in the more recent, the last three James Bond pictures featuring Daniel Craig. Uh, also starring Anya Taylor-Joy, who a lot of people will know from The Queen's Gambit, and Nicholas Holt, who you might remember was Hank McCoy in X-Men First Class. Uh, you might remember when he first started out as a young kid in the picture about a boy alongside Hugh Grant as well, too. So a long way that he's come. And this movie is, it, it essentially starts with a group of people, these, these elite people, these upper class people all getting on to a boat. There's people that are food critics, people that are very rich and well-known celebrity uh, people, higher up, high class types. types. Uh, so they get on this boat and the main characters uh, portrayed by uh, Taylor Joy and Nicholas Holt are Tyler and Margo. And Margo is actually not the original date that Tyler had planned for this particular trip in uh bearish how you doing my man glad you were able to stop by great job again you and carl kicking ass over on the show earlier tonight so thank you uh as always for doing what you guys do and uh great to see you my man um but back to the menus <laughs> so uh they get on this boat and they head on over to this island this island has a restaurant on it and this restaurant is actually owned by celebrity chef julian Slaw slawick uh that's who ralph fine portrays in this film uh, they go into this island, they get a tour of it, and then they go to the actual seating area where they're going to start the menu. And this movie unfolds bit by bit, layer by layer, with serving up these menus, these different tastings, these different ideas of this whole thing. And it's it's very almost like at times watching a, a celebrity cooking show, like a very high-class celebrity cooking show, and yet blended with this fantastic acting this intriguing story that's going on you're still kind of wondering in all honesty what the heck am i getting myself into what is this where are we going and it's exciting it's tintillating and you want to know more as i said we found out that tyler's date margo is not actually his original date and this information not so private we start to find out that the chef himself actually not only knows this but knows quite a bit about every single person that is there at this particular tasting. So a lot of strange things start to unfold. Secrets start to unfold. Now the intrigue really ramps up in this kind of like dark com comedic thriller of a picture almost. And I don't want to say anything more about the actual film itself than that because I don't want to accidentally give anything away. This has one of the most unique fantastic and interesting uh finishes finales to a, a movie i've seen in such a long time i was very excited with this movie i just awesome i can't say enough good things about the menu and how it unfolds how it how it plays out and the acting throughout the entire film that carries this thing wonderful wonderful picture and i recommend it to everybody this one hopefully it doesn't just get uh, forgotten about because it doesn't deserve that treatment it deserves your attention this picture is worth your money for sure <laughs>